Dude, do you even know how big the 4K files are? My GH5 blows this camera out of the water. Do you even know what IBIS is? Do you even know what stabilization is? See? It's good. Tutorial over. Hello friends, I'm back. I know it's been a while, sorry, but I'm here with another tutorial that I'm really excited about today. It is the 5D Mark IV and why it's actually a good video camera. Now, a lot of people give this camera a bunch of crap because of its video specs. Now, if you are only doing video, it makes sense that you would get another camera. GH5, Sony body, whatever the case is. I just am doing this tutorial to let you know that the 5D Mark IV is actually a good option for video if you already have the camera or if you're a photographer looking to do some video work. When the 5D Mark IV was announced about a year and a half, two, two years ago, looking at the details of what Canon had to offer, I was pissed. And then I rented it to shoot a wedding out in Yosemite and I fell in love with this camera. Now I'm gonna go through some of the reasons why people don't like this camera. First, when you shoot in 4K on this camera, it has a 1.7 times crop on the image. In this image, for instance, I'm shooting with a 24 millimeter lens, which is very wide, but in 4K it looks as if it's almost a 40 millimeter lens. This is what it looks like when it's in 1080 and wide. Other people freak out about the fact that the 4K files are enormous. It's not mirrorless, and so it has no IBIS. In body, in, in camera, in camera body image stabilization. Finally, the slow motion or 60 frames per second that you shoot on video on this camera is only in 1080p instead of 4K. Like I said initially, all of those specs really turned me off to wanting to use this camera for video until I rented it and realized that some of those negatives could actually be turned into positives. Now I will admit in some circumstances the 1.7 times crop on the 4K video is annoying, but you can use it to your benefit. A 24 millimeter lens could be used as a super wide lens for sweeping shots and moving stuff. At the same time can also be used as a 40 millimeter lens with talking heads like this. And if you're delivering in 1080p, you can punch into the 4K image without losing any resolution. I absolutely love the depth of field that you can get with this camera. Matching that with face detection is absolutely incredible. I would argue that the best feature on this camera for video is the touchscreen autofocus. When you're filming a person, all you have to do is just tap on their face and it locks in almost perfectly and flawlessly every single time. I love it. Now when you're running with a stabilizer like the Zhiyun Crane 2, this camera becomes basically everything I want in a video camera. A 5D Mark IV? Oof. Do you realize that my GH5 does 60 frames in 4K? <laughs> I mean like, you probably have to have like seven hard drives to be able to hold all of your 4K files. Like, you don't even have in-camera stabilization. Like what is it? Do you even do video? Like, are you even a filmmaker? <laughs>